How's it going, everyone? Uh, I am right now on the Appalachian Trail approach trail, um, making my way to the Appalachian Trail. Uh, as you can see, the approach trail is actually marked with blue blazes instead of white, which is pretty cool. And uh, I already kind of went, you know, I started at the visitor center. I stayed at the lodge last night and um, went through the archway and it was just kind of a flat little trek here um, probably less than a quarter mile but i'm making my way to the base of the falls which is what the signs say uh, base of the falls trail approach trail and uh, from there it's a bunch of steps pretty steep kind of did it a little bit last night and uh, i'll be honest it kicked my ass but we'll see how it goes today and uh, this is day number one on the Appalachian Trail. I am starting off really, really slow today. Just want to make sure I ease right into this and feel good for the rest of the rest of the time I'm out here. So yesterday I kind of had my spirits low. <laughs> Just feeling car sick after a long ride out here and we hiked a little bit and uh, wasn't really feeling too good but got some food in my belly got some sleep feeling a lot better today now I'm just gonna take it real slow today and hopefully the goal is to get to the first shelter I don't know if that's black gap but I think that shelter is actually on the approach trail. I want to make it to the shelter. That's the first shelter on the Appalachian Trail. And I'll have to look at which one that one is. This part is pretty steep. Steeper than it probably looks on camera. I don't know well how well y'all can hear with the stream and the waterfall going in the background, but it's pretty out here. Here's a blue blaze. Uh, as the sign says, 175 steps, difficult to strenuous. And we are looking at Amicaloa Falls. I don't know how well you can hear me, but that's it. Very pretty. GoPro doesn't really do it justice. Made it up 175 stairs. Now we are at the West Ridge staircase, 425 steps. Top of Falls. We have some gorgeous views of the waterfall down here. I'm excited to get to the top, see what's up there. Four hundred and twenty-five stairs, and uh, I will see you guys when I get up there. Probably about three hundred some steps in. This. It's pretty intense, guys. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that was, what, 700 steps? I don't know, I'm not a hiker, or I am a hiker, <laughs> not a mathematician. So, probably somewhere around 700 steps, 600 steps. That sucked. This is the, we're on the approach trail. Uh, now on our way to the actual AT so now we just got bigger steps <laughs> having a good time and you know what I'll have to say to this is if uh, what I have to do in the morning is wake up and hike rather than go to work I'll take that 100% all right I'll be back so we got Springer Mountain 7.25 miles strenuous hike <laughs> that was only a mile 
of trail from <clears throat> from the archway to up here so we are in for a day How's it going? I am about four and a half miles away from Springer Mountain, so just about halfway into the approach trail hike. I will tell you what, it is all uphill and it's what I was expecting, but it's hard. <laughs> uh, stopped to get a little snack and drink some water. Um, been ta tapping my uh, trekking poles together pretty frequently just because I don't know if there's anybody else out here, any bears or anything like that. So still feels weird being out here, but it's fun. <laughs> uh, stopped at what I'm assuming is a little tent site here. Um, my bag trekking poles are over here. Looks like somebody had a fire. It's kind of nice, neat little area. But uh, I'll probably, um, start filming this last part just so you guys can see kind of what the trail is like and uh, see how, how we doing hey Pretty cool. That's uh, about those four people right there. It's funny because I just turned on my camera. This is the first people that I've seen. This whole trail. I guess that ain't bad four miles in. It just felt like a long time. There's water and I have an empty water bottle so uh, I'm going to go fill it. That way I can just put them up to the top of my water bottle right up to it. Fresh stream drinking water. Nothing better. And then what I've been doing is taking out my Sawyer squeeze water filter, screwing it right on top to this little 20 ounce bottle and filtering the big bottle right into the little bottle so I don't have to always drink out of my filter. But just thought I'd do a quick update. Uh, I passed the first shelter on the AT. I'm heading towards Stover Creek Shelter. Passed a couple day hikers. Everybody's super, super nice out here. So, anyway, I'll do an update when I get to Stover Creek Shelter. How's it going? I am on day two of my Appalachian Trail section hike. And uh, last night was pretty iffy, pretty sketchy. But uh, luckily there was a cool dude named Clint. Shout out to Clint for helping me out at the shelter last night. Taught me some cool stuff. Uh, taught me some hacks with food and just cool stuff to make. So that was cool. And uh, yeah, I started off sleeping in the shelter because it was downpouring and right when I was about to fall asleep I had mice crawling all over me and I'm not talking about one or two, there was like five in that shelter just crawling all over me. 
and I'm like, yep, I'm not doing this. So I went out in the rain and I set up my shelter. Uh, the rain stopped a little bit, thank God, and um, set up my tent and slept in my tent for the rest of the night, so that was nice. Um, but after that, I got a pretty good night's sleep, woke up around eight, and I was at Stover Creek Shelter. I'm on my way to a shelter right now. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get some good views and with this GoPro today. Um, I'm charging it right now, so I haven't really got much footage from Stover to here. And uh, we'll try to get some hiking footage in today. Uh, the goal is to make it to Neil Gap um, by day three or four. I heard there's a resupply there. I don't really need a resupply, but uh, I just kind of want to get there. So, um, yeah, see ya. A really neat place. So, this is what happens when you take a blue blaze on the Appalachian Trail instead of following the white blazes all the time. You find cool stuff. I think this is Long Creek Falls. It was like hiking in the jungle for probably about two hours this morning. Kind of got lost for a second and found my way back on trail and then uh, beautiful after three forks beautiful hike up here um, definitely recommend stopping by Long Creek Falls if you hike the AT I feel like I've drank about eight liters of freaking water and I ran out of water and now um, I'm right before I think uh, Gooch shelter um, so I'm going to camp there. I hiked about 12.9 miles today. Uh, there was a switchback up a mountain probably about halfway in that kicked my ass. Uh, it was ridiculous. It was probably, I'm not even kidding, three and a half miles of just straight up. And um, yeah, it was pretty crazy. And that's what it's been today. Up, down, up, down, up, down. But. Cool views, really cool views. Um, gonna refill my water and head up to Gooch Gap Shelter. Uh, so this area is kind of sketching me out a little bit. The trees are all grown in like wriggly, like weird strikes of lightning kind of deals. It's like I'm hiking through freaking like a Hansel and Gretel like movie or something. Just kind of giving me creepy vibes, but gonna stay here tonight and see if I get eaten by a freaking witch. So I made it to uh, Gooch Mountain Shelter and um, I got a little fire going. It's pretty wet outside so it's just going to probably stay small and uh, just because I can't really get anything bigger going. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to chill out, sit back on my pack over there and um, I got a Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, downloaded on audiobook that I'm going to listen to, and I'm just going to hang out for the rest of the night. Ended with a 13 mile day, feeling pretty tired. Um, so yeah, I'm on day three of my hike. Um, woke up this morning at Gooch Gap and uh, got everything packed up. Slept in my tent last night, it rained all night. Um, but my tent holds up really well, uh, works really good. 
in the rain, which I'm glad. Um, but yeah, I woke up I'm about uh, past Scooch Gap, and I'm headed towards Woody Gap. Uh, in the book, it says there is a bathroom there and a place to throw trash away, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, gonna see if I can make it to Hawk, or not Hawk, uh, Blood Mountain Shelter today. Uh, we will see what happens. You can't uh, train for these mountains in South Dakota. If any of you have ever played Skyrim, it feels like I'm walking up to uh, High Hrothgar or whatever that castle of wizards is called. <laughs> I'm being summoned. Hopefully I don't have to fight any trolls on the way. Here I am, I made it to uh, Woody Gap. This sign you can see says, uh, Chat Chattahoochee uh, National Forest. And we got uh, Mount Katahdin, uh, 2,170 miles north. Uh, we're not going there, not yet. <laughs> um, but it uh, came from Springer. And that was 20.6 miles. So 20.6 miles on the actual Appalachian Trail, and another 8.5 um, on the approach. So gonna take advantage of the bathroom and the trash. And I think we're entering another national forest, but we will see. So I uh, made it to uh, Neil's Gap, and that was a trek. Pretty fun though, uh, just took it slow, honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And we're here. Um, there's the cool shelter. Uh, I think um, I heard somebody say it's the oldest shelter on the AT, and it's it looks like a freaking house. I'm curious to see if there's going to be mice in it tonight, I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, it's a neat little place though, but uh, I got a, a call in to um, Mount Crossing or Blood, Blood Mountain Cabins and she said that uh, I can come in and stay tomorrow because they have a, a lot of them available so I'm pretty excited about that. Gonna freaking hit a shower and get some food that isn't backpacker food and that'll be day four. I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna wake up super early and make my way down there. So just kind of get going. I, I just want to get to Neil Gap, see what's up down there. So had a good night last night. Um, I had a few uh, a few dudes stop in that stayed the night up at Blood Mountain with me, which was really cool. Um, we played cards and. Uh, just kind of hung out and at some point I realized that uh, I was having a pretty good time because uh, in my head popped in, you know, I could be at work uh, or I could be out here playing cards on top of a mountain that I summited instead. Thank you. 
And uh, here's the tunnel AT goes through. I think it's the only tunnel like this on the AT. But uh, I'm going to hang out here and uh, get dry. <laughs> Wait for the store to open and yeah. I am recording this part of my phone because the GoPro can get it, but uh, you see in the tree there's all the shoes hung up at Neil Gap. 25% uh, of the people that started through the hike I guess to quit here. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> to uh, Blood Mountain uh, Mountain Crossing Cabin this morning. Um, the hike down was kind of insane, <laughs> especially because I'm dumb and decided to do it in the dark. But I wanted to get down here so I could have the cabin for just the whole day. Um, stay for, um, but including the approach trail, I'm about 40 miles in. So, you know what? I'm wet, I haven't taken a shower, hungry and uh, just thought it'd be kind of cool this place is awesome it's really cozy um, the lady was really nice I uh, would highly recommend um, checking this place out I've got my camera on my phone all the way So this is the uh, inside, I got the otter cabin. Um, there, this thing, she gave me a, a discount. I paid 70 bucks for this. There's like a hole upstairs, there's a stove, a fridge. Um, multiple rooms, a bathroom. And you know what guys? You know what I'm excited for? A fucking shower. Look at this thing, hot water running toilet <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah pretty cool stuff um, anyway look at this look at this a TV I'm getting spoiled Shit. I will probably sleep up here tonight. And as a famous Toby McGuire once said, it's pizza time.